Black people, we can do better with customer service. We're so focused on making the money, but we're not focused on the integrity and, 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 and you know, our character behind making the money. I do believe everybody should have a side gig. Allow your nine to five to fund your five to nine. You can make anywhere between 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars a month. Welcome to the table. Welcome to the table. Welcome to the table. Did you know that according to recent data from Self Financial, a staggering 45% of working Americans currently have a side hustle? Yes, you heard that right. Side hustles are booming and for a good reason, with 30% of individuals citing the need for extra income to cover a basic cost. Side gigs have become a vital component of many people's financial strategies. But here's the kicker that I found very interesting. Not all side gigs are created equal. In light of this, let's explore eight lucrative, I mean this, like lucrative side gigs that offer the potential to earn more than your, than your, your, your traditional full-time job. Each of these opportunities present a unique avenue for individuals to increase their income and achieve greater financial stability. Whether it's, it's so that you can get your savings fully up there, pay down debt, or simply make ends meet, these side gigs hold the key to unlocking your financial potential. Now, before we get into the eight side gigs, don't forget, we're celebrating Financial Literacy Month all, all all month long, we have something truly special for you. I'm not just here to talk about financial freedom. I'm here to help you experience it firsthand. I want you to picture this. Two, two lucky couples or two lucky people jetting off on a $5,000 dream vacation, creating memories that will last a lifetime simply because you're part of the E3 community. But wait, there is more for, for more full, for, for the full details, right? For all the information in regards to the April is lit giveaway that we're doing this month. I want you to check out this quick commercial. Fam, I got a question. Are you ready for an April like no other? Well, I want you to get pumped because we're about to make it rain with our April is lit $20,000 giveaway powered by my friends at SmartWiz. I want you to imagine this. Come here, come here, come closer. You and your ride or die are on a $5,000 vacation of your wildest dreams or kickstart your financial future with $1,000 towards an IRA or an investment account. That's pretty sweet, right? But hold on to your seats, baby, because it's about to get even better. I want you to join us for April is Lit Financial Literacy Month, where education meets opportunity. I want you to amp up your financial know-how, treat yourself to a well-deserved breather, and master the art of smart money management. Here's how you can get involved with all this excitement. It's simple. Go to anthonyoneal.com to register for 100% free. And you gotta subscribe to the YouTube and Apple podcast channels to qualify for the chance to snag one of these incredible prizes. This is $20,000. So don't let this opportunity slip through your fingers. Take charge of your, of your financial destiny and stand a chance to win big. Join us for the April is Lit and let's make this month a month that we cannot forget. Visit anthonyoneal.com right now to register and check out today's show notes for the link. All right, let's get to today's show. So listen, go to anthonyoneal.com, register today, tell your friends, tell your family members to go get it. Because listen, we're giving away $20,000. This is no small money. Vacations, IRAs, absolutely amazing. But we're giving away $20,000. Let me show you how you can put an extra $20,000 in your pocket this year. Here's number one, one of the best side gigs that's creating, um, generating more income than some people's full-time situations. That's accounting and book 
bookkeepers. Listen, accountant and bookkeepers provide financial services to businesses and individuals, including maintaining financial records, preparing tax returns, and providing financial advice. They ensure that financial transactions are accurately recorded and help clients manage their finances effectively. You all have seen my accountant on the show several times, Shania, who's doing a phenomenal job with my business, right? She is actually a certified uh, professional accountant, but you have other accountants who are not certified who do not have a degree, but they're bookkeepers. And that's so important. I think just from the bookkeeping side alone, a monthly basis, I'm paying like $250 a month just for her to keep my books up to date, right? So there are certain skills that are required, but there are certain skills that are not required. Here's some of the skills that are required. Strong understanding of accounting principles, proficiency with accounting software. We use Quick books for an example and really attention to detail if you are a person you get geeked out over every line has to be super clear like you get geeked out on like hey I know we spent money on food but was this groceries or was this you know out to eat you if you are like myself I'm very big on the small things I want to know did I spend two dollars this month on this did I spend two hundred dollars on this did I spend twenty thousand dollars on this like I want to know down to the T my accountant knows I want to know if I spent 50 cents on something so I, I am very very big on on really accounting which is very, very, very important to me. I mean, it's super important to me. Now, I wanna talk about this because, again, we're talking about side gigs that are gonna help you make more money. And bookkeeping and accounting, when we did the research, actually, I didn't do the research. I, I didn't do the research. I used to be on the team uh, that did the research, Ramsey Solutions, and they found out uh, the top 10 careers, that's creating net worth millionaires, net worth millionaires, the top 10 careers and accounting and bookkeeping was in the top five. It was in the top five. Now, when I say net worth millionaires, I'm not saying they're making a million dollars a year. Here's what I'm saying, that these individuals are maybe making 80,000, 100,000, dollars right, a year, but they're able to invest in it properly. So when it comes to the income potential of accounting and bookkeepers, depending on the client base and the services you offer, accountants and bookkeepers can earn anywhere from $20 to 100 and more, to 100 plus an hour. An hour. I'm saying one more time. An hour. But there still is some level of education that you have to get. You know, did you know that uh, you don't have to go to school to become a bookkeeper or any of the side gigs that I'm going over today? You don't need a four-year degree for it. Heck, you don't really even need an associate's degree for it. But you do need some form of education. And are you ready to take that next step uh, but not sure how? I want you to look no further than my friends at Upskillist.com. This is your pathway to personal professional excellence. This platform offers a wide range of budget-friendly, expert-led courses Courses designed to empower you with the skills and knowledge needed to dive into one of these side gigs and hundreds more. I mean, literally hundreds more. From digital marketing to project management to public speaking, Upskillers has something for everyone. Their courses are carefully crafted to deliver practical, real-world insights that you can immediately apply to your job, side gig, or business. But Upskills is more than just a learning platform. And I, this is why I love what they're doing. It's a community of like-minded individuals committed to growth and development. Connect with peers, share experiences, and learn from each other's success and challenges. Don't let your fear or uncertainty hold you back any longer. I want you to get the education that you need from one of these side gigs so that you can go out there and make some good extra money. 
And I want you to go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash up your skills today and start your journey towards a brighter future. Whether you're looking to advance your career, start one of these side gigs today, or simply just enhance your skills, Upskillist is here to support your every step of the way. Invest in yourself and unlock your full potential with something very, very budget friendly. I'm talking like 50 bucks, 100 bucks. And the first month is free with Upskills. So that way we can really help you get into these side gigs and be the best you can. Listen, go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash up your skills today, which leads me into the number two side gig that is really generating a lot of money. And watch this, when I say this, I'm not even exaggerating. I know people who has made a million, two million, three million dollars a year in this particular uh, field, and that's the digital course creators world. Now, the digital course creators develop and sell online courses on various subjects, leveraging their expertise to teach others. Now, we just had um, Amy Porterfield on the show here a couple of months ago, and literally what she says is take your 10% knowledge and teach that. So your 10% edge, let's say for an example, you have three years um, in this uh, expertise, but you wanna take your th what you've learned for the last three years and go back and teach it to the people who are just now starting. So you're taking your little small 10% edge and you're putting that in the form of a course, you're putting that in the form of maybe an online academy and you're going back and you're teaching it. You're creating an instructional content in the form of videos, presentations, and written materials, delivering knowledge and skills to a wide audience through online platforms and, and this is something what I'm doing I'm taking you know I didn't go to school for money you know I'm back in you know different classes now to really take my knowledge a little bit deeper when it comes to money but I, I don't have a four-year degree in accounting no and I'm not trying to be your accountant that's why I recommend companies like Shanae Wilson's company you know but it's it's you're taking your life learned lessons and you're teaching that to someone and here's what here's what I here's why I love this field, but here's also a downfall about this field. Is that a lot of people are jumping into this with the wrong motives. A lot of people have uh, they've jumped into it because they see it's a money machine. And and they're just they're just saying, "Hey, I got this course and they're not really giving much value." But someone like yourself who's watching this, you could be a single mother of five kids and you've been able to go from no no kids to five kids, raising five kids. Do you know how many mothers are like, okay, what do I do? <laughs> how do I feed my kid properly? How do I breastfeed properly? You know, what do I do? How do I do this? How do I get my kids to sleep? You, know, you can turn it into a course because you have an edge over brand new mothers. You, you could be a great assistant somewhere. And, and you've been doing it for three years, five years. Hey, you've been doing it for a year and you've learned so much in a year. You could turn it into a course. One of my good friends, um, she was a school teacher for uh, 12 years. And during COVID, I talk about this all the time. She was like, hey, I need to generate some extra income because she had all this extra time on her hands. And she started a tutoring business for the SAT and the ACT. That has turned well, now she does it full time, but before she was making more money tutoring kids on how to prep for the SAT and the ACT, and she did that for three years, making six figures plus on the side and making $70,000 as a school teacher. And then finally, this grew, her side gig grew to the point to where it was so, so, so big that she had to leave her job had to leave her job because she took her edge, her 10% edge, and she turned it into a course. She turned it into an academy, and she started teaching people. Now, what are the skills required to be a digital course creator? You gotta have an expertise and a 10% edge in a specific subject or niche. You gotta have the ability to create engaging content, videos, presentations, and quizzes, marketing, and sales skills. Now. We talked about this. What, what's the income potential for this particular business? Honestly, income can vary greatly depending on the popularity of the course, the need of the course, 
is that course hitting a felt need in a particular niche, your pricing strategy, and your marketing efforts. Successful course creators can earn thousands of dollars per month or more, especially if they have a large audience or offer high value content. So, honestly, I've seen people make anywhere from $1,500 a month on a low end, all the way up to $100,000 to a $1 million per month. But I wanna be honest with you here, that million dollars a month, I'm not gonna say per month, that million dollars a month when launching a course, I haven't seen too many people of high caliber really do that. So I wanna be honest with you in this particular area, I would definitely say, worst case scenario, depending on how you launch it, depending on if your course, if you do this, if you launch a course, you, and if you do it right, and you hit a felt need, you take some time, you step back, you do some research, you figure out what do people need, and do they need what God has given me? Do they need uh, the skills that I have? And if you do it right, I can say when you launch a course, you can make anywhere between 10, 15, to $20,000 a month. Honestly, honestly. We do that plus some within, within our courses. But again, we're really focusing on providing value. And I, I don't believe in just launching something just to make money because then you're gonna have a bunch of people complaining about your products. And listen, you're always gonna have someone complaining about your products. You're always gonna have that. I heard Charlemagne the God say something before. It's like, hey, uh, on a scale of 10, if you got 10 people, three people are gonna love your product, three people are gonna hate your product, four people won't even know you even have a product. The people who love your product, don't. they don't talk about the product because they love it. The people who hate your product, they're gonna talk about your product because they don't like it, right? And then that creates the noise. So just make sure that when you get into this space, you get the right information, you learn how to build it, which is why I really and highly suggest upskillers because they can show you how to really edit a video for you, from yourself. It doesn't take you a lot of money to create a video. They can show you the, the right platforms. Check them out, anthonyoneal.com forward slash up your skills. Here's number three, consulting. Now, a consultants offer expert advice and guidance to businesses and individuals in specific industries or fields. Now, consultants provide strategic recommendations, problem-solving solutions, and specialized knowledge to help clients improve performance, solve challenges, and achieve their goals. Now, consultants um, are, are, are highly sought after. Um, I've reached out to several consultants on, hey, how do I do marketing better? Hey, how do I build my email, email list better? Hey, YouTube. I've reached out to a YouTube consultant from YouTube to tell me, hey, how do I best make you know, this content better? How do I reach more people? You could have, you could have something that people will pay you $5,000, $2,000, $10,000 to consult with them on. I remember the very first consultant that I, that I went to for YouTube charged me $12,500 for the day. But they had the skill that I was looking for. So when it comes to being a consultant, what skill is required? Let me give it to you. Deep knowledge and experience in a particular industry or field. Here's, here's another key thing you gotta have, another skill. You gotta be able to problem solve. If you can't help them solve the problem, then you can't be a consultant. Why am I, I'm not paying you money for ideas. As a consultant, I'm paying you money to help solve a problem that I have. I'm not getting views. Teach me, help me solve the problem of not getting views. Um, 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 you could be a consultant on, on taxes. Hey, I'm paying too much money on taxes. Here's your right tax strategy. But you also gotta have excellent communication skills. If, if, if you're not a people person, you don't need to be a consultant. If you're always looking upset, if you're always looking mean, if you're always short, you do not need to be a consultant. You need to be a course creator. Because consultants, 
if I'm paying you all this money to consult with me and I feel as if you have an attitude or, or I'm bothering you, I don't want to rock with you. I, I don't want to rock with you. I, I, I do not want to rock with you. Because the income potential for consultants is insane. Consultant rates can range anywhere from $50 to $500 to sometimes $1,000 per hour, depending on the expertise and the demand for the service. Now, con experienced consultants with specialized skills can command higher rates and may also receive project-based fees. I recently hired a... Um, um, a community consultant to where it was her job to consult my business on how we retain people inside of our monthly membership. Her fee was $10,000 a month to consult us on how to do this. And she was with us for a whole year, did a phenomenal thing. But we paid her $120,000 because she can help keep people inside of our programs worth every single penny. But I want to pause right here because if we're working a full-time job and then we have a side gig and then we're also a mother, we're also a father, we're also a husband, we're also a wife, we're, we're also a son, a daughter, a friend, a loved one, all of this could be stressful. We're trying to make more, more money so we can have more freedom, so we can have more abundance and we can become healthier. We're chasing all these things, but when do we take time to really take care of our number one asset? And this is our mind. While this channel is all about helping you increase in wealth and, and, and get out of debt and experience, you know, abundance, wellness, and freedom, the key thing there is wellness. Because if we're not well in our mind, if we're not taking the time to, to sit down with a professional therapist, not just pray, you guys, not just talk to your boyfriend, not just talk to your girlfriend, no, no, talk, sit down and talk with someone who is experienced in the, in the field of understanding, of understanding our mental state and how we think and helping us process that information. If this is well, financially, we're gonna be better. I'm so excited from my friends over here at uh, BetterHelp who are sponsoring today's show because they want to help you get help, get the therapy that you need. Check out this quick commercial. Something that hits a little bit different, especially during today's day and time. You know, when I reflect on the relationships in my life that I'm most proud of, it strikes me how much effort it took to actually cultivate them. It's a common myth that relationships should be effort effortless to be meaningful. In reality, the strongest connections are often those we work hardest to fortify. While I've been on my own personal journey of personal growth, I've come to understand the misvalue of having support along the way. It's not just about overcoming significant hurdles. It's also about learning to navigate everyday challenges, setting healthy boundaries, and striving to become the best version of yourself. And this is why I'm a huge fan of therapy. If you're considering therapy, I encourage you to check out my friends over at BetterHelp. Their service is entirely online, offering the convenience and flexibility to fit therapy into your life, not the other way around. And a simple questionnaire, you'll be matched with a licensed therapist suited to your personal needs. And if for any reason you feel your therapist isn't a perfect fit, you can switch at any time at no extra cost at all to you. So listen, before we get to today's show, take the next step towards strengthening your relationships with yourself. Visit betterhelp.com AO and get 10% off your very first month. Remember, that's betterhelp.com AO. Become your own soulmate, whether you're actively looking for one or not. All right, let's grow together. So listen, I want you to check out BetterHelp because I promise you it will bless you. Go to betterhelp.com forward slash AO. All right, here's the next one. Virtual assistants. Listen, man, I have two of these right now. And these, this is, oh my gosh. Let me tell you right now. You're looking for something easy to get into? You're looking for something that you can make an extra $1,000, $1,500 a month easy from your home when you get home? 
virtual becoming a virtual assistant is is that's the future. Everyone is looking for a virtual assistant right now because virtual assistants provide administrative and support services to clients remotely, handling tasks such as email management, scheduling appointments, data entry, social media, graphics and designs, research, you name it. You all help businesses and entrepreneurs like myself streamline our operations and focus on core activities by outsourcing administrative tasks. Virtual assistants help me, help business owners and entrepreneurs focus on the things that we love while you all do the things that we don't love but we still need. I'm actually looking for another virtual system right now to respond to just my, my email, my anthony at anthonyneal.com email, because I get a lot of questions in there. So I need someone who can come in, study my content, and respond to the emails and be like, hey, listen, this is what I would suggest. This is what Anthony would suggest. Because I'm in there, but I'll get a thousand emails a week, and I can't respond to that all by myself, so I need some help. But when I'm on flights, when I'm you know, sitting out at the pool, I'll sit out there and I'll respond, but I, I want a VA who can come in there and respond to that. But virtual assistants are not just email only and scheduling only, but what if you are good with uh, social media? What if you, if you know how to upload and plan stuff, you could do that as a virtual assistant on the side. And you can make, make an extra thousand, 1500. Heck, I'm paying my VA right now to do my social media $5,000 a month, five grand a month to run my social media account. She is a VA. So the skills required for this is just organizational skills, time management, proficiency with office software, such, such as Microsoft Office, Google Suite, and you've got to have good communication skills. But watch this. Here's the income potential. Virtual assistants typically make about $15 to about $100 or more an hour. Now, this is depending on experience, specialized skills, and the complexity of the task. Some virtual assistants may also offer package deals or retainer arrangements with clients like mine. My VA, she handles all of my Instagram, all of TikTok, and all of our uh, YouTube shorts and she does a great job at, hey, here's the posting schedule, here's the, the content that we're gonna post. It's absolutely amazing. It's easy. Y'all, you could do that on your lunch break. And you're not stressed. You're not stressed. Here's another one. This is a good one. And I think a lot of people sleep on this one. I think a lot of, a lot of us, we sometimes look at these people, and I don't know, maybe we don't take them serious, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm taking these people serious because just this year alone, when it comes to landscaping and contractors, I've paid out a lot of money on landscapers and contractors. If you love cutting grass, if you love planting trees, if you love seeing people's driveways and, and, and curve appeal look amazing, this is something you want to get into. And that's landscapers and contractors. You see, landscapers and contractors specialize in outdoor maintenance and construction projects, such as landscaping, gardening, lawn care, home renovations. We just moved into our studio. They design and build and maintain, you know, the indoor spaces and outdoor spaces, enhancing the aesthetic appeal and functionality of residential and commercial properties. What you see right here, go to the wide camera, uh, Jay, for me real quick. Uh, this was not here. This was a wall. And uh, a contractor, she came and she built this, this door right here. This is a... a out of wood. This is a contractor. A contractor designed this whole room. That's a contractor. I just had my pool built and they put up trees around it. And, and it was so dope to see how they did it because they drew it up on 3D and say, hey, we're gonna put privacy trees over here, privacy trees over here. It creates this aesthetic for your backyard. We're gonna put lights inside of you know the walkway. So when you're walking, you see it. Like it was just beautiful. But the check that I cut them was insane. 
but you don't need any education for this. You need a desire and a passion for it. The only skills required for this is knowledge of landscaping or construction techniques. And you gotta be strong physically because that's a lot of work to be doing. It's a lot of work to be doing. You're out there cutting grass and, and digging trenches and stuff like that. You, you gotta have some physical stamina for that. And the ability to operate some machinery and tools safely. Kim, who designed pretty much my house and uh, the studio here, I mean, this woman can operate tools. Now, she's not operating big machinery. She'll have other contractors come in for that. But she's operating drills, hammers, um, you name it. She was putting stuff into the walls. Like, wow. But you got to have those kind of skills. Now, let's talk about this. What are the income opportunities here? Incomes can vary widely, depending on factors such as location, uh, what you specialize in, and the size of the project. Prime example, I told you all, my project costs, about a, my, my pool project costs about $120,000. But my front yard only cost me five grand. You see, landscapers and contractors may charge hourly rates, flat fees for specific services, or project-based pricing, but rates can vary anywhere from $45 to $100 or more per, per hour. Now, this next one is, is interesting. I, I, while I was doing the research, I was kind of shocked by this one. I didn't know people do this, but frequent flyer specialists. It's new, huh? If you've heard of this, frequent flyer specialists, let me know in the, in the comment section if you've heard about this, because this, this is interesting to me. You see, frequent flyer specialists help individuals maximize the travel rewards and loyalty program benefits from airlines, hotels, and credit card companies. <laughs> they provide advice on earning and redeeming points, finding the best deals on flights and accommodations and optimizing travel experience. Now, I didn't know that. Like for an example, I'm always on a flight, so I get points and I get airline miles from all the airlines. Um, I travel a lot, so I'm in hotels. So I'm getting you know, um, hotel points uh, from Hilton Honors. I even get points on my debit card. Like, and I didn't know that there was someone specializing on how to best use your points to get the best deal. This is dope. Like I, I'm literally, I'm, 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 for my birthday, I can't say where I'm going just yet, but I'm going somewhere very, very nice. And I had to catch a flight over there. And I have all these points on throughout all my airlines. And the company that I'm going through on this particular vacation was like, hey, we're gonna connect you with our specialist to help you get the best deal using your points from the airline miles. I was like, wait, what? There's a specialist who knows how to do that? Y'all, they got me a business class trip out of the country and I didn't spend one dollar for it. Not one dollar for it. They used my points. Wow. So the skills required here is simply, you gotta have deep understanding of airline loyalty programs and ability to maximize rewards and perks and you gotta have good research skills. Now, let's talk about the income potential here because income for frequent flyer specialists can vary depending on the services offered in the client base, right? So some specialists charge hourly rates or flat fees for consultations while others may earn commission through booking services or affiliate partnerships. So this could be an extra $2,000 to $5,000 a month. A month? I mean, and that's fun. Like, you're learning how to do this because now you can, apply this, you can apply this to yourself and you and your loved one can travel the world with what you're learning. And now it's like you're making an extra $5,000 a month to, to help people travel? Man, listen, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Uh, this is insane. I got two more for you, two more, I think. I got two more for you. That's the e-commerce and online selling. E-commerce entrepreneur sells products, you know, online through platforms such as Amazon, Shopify, eBay, uh, Etsy. You know, they source um, or create products, set up online stores, manage inventory, and market their products to customers, leveraging the internet to reach a global audience 
and generate sales. So if you're in the t-shirt game, if you're in the you know product game, if you're selling bottles, if you're selling you know laptops, books, plants, uh, furniture, clothes, you name it, this is where you want to go. I don't. I know a lot of people in the e-commerce world, and I know a lot of people, for an example, who will go buy things wholesale. My brother is doing this, John Gibbs, and he'll come back and sell it on Amazon. I don't know the whole nuances of this business. I really don't, you know, that's not something that I subscribe to. Uh, we sold products and we're gonna be selling more products, but I'm gonna hire, watch this, I'm gonna consult with someone. Go back up. I'm gonna consult with someone on what's the best way to get into the e-commerce business so that way we can sell products. I really don't wanna profit off of our merchandise zone. I wanna create evangelists of our message. So like, I, I'm really not trying to get into the e-commerce world to make product. I do want it to at least break even and make a little bit of product, but I'm not trying to make a whole lot of money with it because there's a science to the e-commerce world and to online sales, right? I want to stay in the educational space, the core space, generate money for that by serving people and teaching them how to get out of debt, how to build wealth, how to invest, et cetera. But I don't want to make a whole bunch of money off of the t-shirts, right? But there are skills required if you're going to be in this e-commerce world. And I don't know if that's something I want to do. But it could be something you want to do. So here are the skills that are required. Product sourcing, marketing, customer service, and oh my gosh. Listen, let's pause right there. Can I be real with you? Black people, we could do better with customer service. We could do much better with customer service. And this is something that my, my team is working on. We hired a whole customer service agency to where they handle all of our customer service. And we still have some work to do, right? I think a lot of companies still have a lot of work to do. But some companies, we're not, we don't even care about customer service. We wanna sell the product, but we're not willing to hire people. Ooh, we're not willing to hire people to make sure that we take care of the people who we're selling to. We're so focused on making the money, but we're not focused on the integrity and, 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 and you know, our character behind making the money. And I remember, I remember when I first launched, I didn't have a customer service team, and man, I felt grimy, I felt kind of off, because I made all this money off of a great online course and a product. But there were some issues. People couldn't get, their, get in, log in, and people didn't like the product. Remember, we went back to the, out of 10 people, three people are gonna love it, three people are not gonna like it, four people are not even gonna know you have a product. And so I didn't have something in place for the three people who didn't like it and for the three people who may have a, a issue. And it just, it didn't, it didn't go well. And so instantly I went to a consultant. They said, hey, you need to hire a customer service person for your online sales. And we did just that. So you, skills, you gotta put that in place. And you gotta have a, a great e-commerce platform management. You have to. Now, what's the income potential when it comes to, you know, this particular side gig? Well, the income potential in e-commerce can be significant, but it's highly variable. Let me say that because it all depends on factors such as the product that you're offering, your marketing strategy, are you buying ads, and a market demand. Successful e-commerce uh, entrepreneurs can, can earn anywhere from a few hundred dollars to millions of dollars per year. I, I haven't had her on my show, but there's a young lady that I was, I've been following, um, I think her name is like, I forgot, I don't wanna mess up her name, but she's a good friend with my friend Donnie, and she's made millions selling clothes online. Millions selling clothes online. But if you're doing it right, and you're getting the education that you need to do it right, you're gonna be all right. Here is, I believe, something that all of us are aware of, but we didn't, I don't think people know they could do this on the side. And if you do this on the side, I think a lot of you will honestly end up leaving because this can create a large influx of money quickly 
right? But then on this one, you have seasons to where you won't make anything. And that's becoming a realtor and selling homes. You see, realtors assist clients in buying, selling, and renting residential and commercial properties. They guide clients through uh, the real estate transaction process, including property search, price negotiating, uh, contract drafting, and closing procedures, helping clients achieve their real estate goals. This is something that I think for us, if, if not only owning real estate is important, but if you sell real estate, man, so much there. And watch this, you don't have to go to school for it. You can have knowledge of the local real estate market, negotiating skills, marketing and sale expertise, and you do need to go to some type of real estate type school and, and type class to really learn, but you don't need to spend $100,000 to come out and make $200,000 a year selling real estate. I know people who are making that. Heck, my house alone, the guy made like close to $40,000. Just renting out this, this building, my real estate, uh, my realtor, made $16,000. I'm renting this building. And because I rented the building for three years, three, five years, they got a check for $16,000. They, we walked this building once, they read through the contract, maybe once, they did negotiate my price per square foot down a little bit. They did negotiate, you know, some money for them to kind of rebuild it for me to where we can uh, have this uh, building as a functional studio. They did some work. They did some work, but it wasn't hard. <laughs> they came up here once. Everything else was through the phone and made 16 grand. I don't know about you, I like that. I like that. So when it comes to the income potential, realtors can typically earn commission based on the sale price of homes, which can range anywhere from 1% up to 6% or more of the sales price. The income potential for realtors can be substantial, especially in areas with high property values or high demand for real estate services. These side gigs offer opportunities for additional income outside of traditional full-time employment with varying income potential and skills required. Listen, depending on your interests, expertise, goals, you can explore different options to supplement your income and achieve financial stability. The reason why I did this show What's my time? Because I'm really trying to make sure I get y'all out of here in like 35 minutes. Uh, let me see what my time is. Let me see what my time is. Um, so did I start it? I didn't even start the time. Jay, what time are we at? 40. 40 minutes. All right. The reason why I did this show is because I don't believe that everyone should be an entrepreneur. I don't. I, I don't. I think you have a lot of people different areas. Some people are going to have a full-time job and they're going to kill it and they're going to retire there. And I love that. I'm looking for people on my team who are like, you know what? I don't want to be an entrepreneur. Um, I just want to be able to have a good job and do something on the side that I do earn, but I love the mission and assignment of this. And I trust you, Anthony, that you're going to pay me what I'm worth and get me to my financial goals that I desire, right? Um, there's a, those are those people. And then there are entrepreneurs who are, who, who can't have a nine to five job. It's just not even in them. But I do believe everybody should have a side gig. Everybody should be make, making income on the side because it provides a level of freedom that your job can't give you. Because here's the truth. I got nine people who work with me. I could let them go anytime. And I tell them this often, like, hey, I hope you're saving. I hope you're investing. I hope you're living below your means because I don't know what the future holds. I'm busting my butt to where we never have to get to that point. But even I am saving and investing for myself because I never know what God may have down the road. Everybody was going after oil. Look what happened 30 years later. Look what happened 40 years later. Look what happened to the economy 20 years ago when people were getting into, you know, the, the, the big businesses and now things are shifting. 
The world is shifting. Companies are, are dropping that used to be there. Think about it. You guys, you're probably too young, some of you, um, but Blockbuster was big back in my days. They had thousands of stores around the world. You can't find one today. You just never know what life is going to happen. So never put all of your eggs into one basket. No, you show up on that job and you give it your very best. But when you go home, I was just at ILS here last month when Bishop T.D. Jakes had the opportunity to host it. Um, and John Hope Bryant, one of the generals in the financial space, said something, allow your nine to five to fund your five to nine. So, 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 so your nine to five is, is, is funding you know, your, your livelihood and it's giving you the room to where you can generate some extra money on your side gig from five to nine. And this is what I tell everyone as I'm closing. As someone who worked for 15 years for someone else and who's, who's been working for five years for myself, I've been on both sides. I've been the guy that's saying, man, my boss should give me more money. I've been the guy that's saying, oh, this is crazy. My boss should do this. This company should do this. I don't know why they tripping. I've been that guy that talked about my boss and the company behind my boss and my company's back and laughed and smiled. Then to leave, to come over here, to be now the owner. And I feel every inch of every single thing that 99% of the employees never, ever feel. I understand. And I had to go back and apologize apologize to some of my bosses from an integrity and character standpoint because the crap that I was talking about behind their back I didn't get and I don't understand. I didn't understand until I got into this chair. I showed up and wouldn't give them 100% because I felt like they 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 should have gave me more when they was giving me honestly everything that they could give me at the time. And so when I'm saying get a side gig and allow your nine to five to fund your five to nine, show up on the nine to five. Show up and you show out. You put in the work. Why? It's not about the nine to five job. It's about can you steward what God has assigned you to for this season? If you're showing up and you're giving that job 80% of you, no, you're giving God 80% of yourself but then you're expecting God to give you 100% on your side gig? No, no, no. What if that side gig, ooh, I'm, 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 I'm talking to some of you, come in closer. What if that side gig one day blows up and it requires you to leave your nine to five to come work this full time? You're gonna need help. You're, you are going to need help to take that to the next level. Because what a lot of you don't understand is you can go from nine to five worker to self-employed. You're still employed, but you're self-employed. So you still got to work nine to five. You're just working nine to five for yourself. Me, if I stop working, my business still moves on because I have teammates. But one thing I had to realize, and I think this is the reason why I think one of my company is doing well is because when I worked for, you know, Ramsey Solutions, when I worked at Bethel, Simon Temple, True Vine, when I worked at, you know, I won't say the name of that collection agency because I, I talk trash about them now. I, I, it was just, it was a horrible experience. Um, when I sold cars, um, I showed up. And I didn't give him 100%, I gave him 110%. You know why? Because I knew one day God was gonna open up the doors for me to own my own thing. Because that was my desire. I knew I wasn't an employee. But I also knew at that time and season of my life, I couldn't be an employer. Because I wasn't mature, I wasn't ready. My attention to detail was not there. I didn't show up and, and do what my boss told me to do before my boss even told me to do it. I didn't show up and really put all the effort in so God was showing me and, and, and pruning me and evolving me before I can do it. Show up and get the side gig so that way you have that cushion. So that way if and when life happens, you're not damaged. You know why? Because you got the fully funded emergency fund you're out of debt. You got an extra thousand, two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars coming in a month. You're gonna feel good.
So listen, if you enjoyed today's show, please hit the thumbs up button before you leave. If you're new to the channel today, today's your first time maybe watching one of our videos, can you please join the family? We will love to have you be a part of the E3 community where here we are focused on expanding in abundance, wellness, and freedom. We wanna see you increase in your wealth. We wanna see you increase in your health. And we wanna see you have more freedom to do the things you wanna do with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones, to, to live the life God has really called you to live. So before we go, please, thank you. Please, thank you. Please, thank you. Let me say it one more time. Please and thank you for joining the E3 community and hitting that thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my friends over at uh, BetterHelp. Get that therapy and the wisdom that you need. And also, uh, don't forget to check out my friends over at Upskillers so that way you can get all the skills you need to take advantage of one of these side gigs. If I missed a side gig that you think people should know about, put it inside the comment section if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're listening to this on podcast, hey, come over to the YouTube channel and let me know. And don't forget, it's April. We're giving away $20,000 this month. Make sure to enter into the April is late giveaway. God bless you. We'll see you on the next show. Peace out.